Hey guys, what's up? It's Sue 12 Flowers here. So today we are actually going to kind of go over what Anime Champion Simulator needs to actually improve its game. Um, some of these topics are going to be kind of hot topics. Uh, I know some of y'all are going to be like, what are you talking about? But hopefully y'all kind of resonate with me on some of these issues. Um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it just because I have felt that there has been a lot of issues that I've kind of ran into that I definitely see that should be fixed. Uh, full disclosure, I do want to completely, this was a whole video kind of, I saw Sister Guard's video. I want to give, I want to give her full credit because she actually made a video before. You could definitely go check her out. I'll probably, I'll leave her video in the description, but she made a great video on it. And I also looked up a little bit on trademark and just some of his, you know, opening odds. And I thought that, that would be good. But anyway, so popping into it, there's a couple of things. So first off in the machines, the essence machine, clicking on heroes one at a time to do this takes forever. If you are on the weekend and you have a luck boost, like you have the weekend luck boost and you are hatching a bunch of apex furies. And then you have to ascend them or not ascend, but dismantle as assess whatever this is. If you have to do this essence, there you go. You have to do that. Then that takes way too long. Okay. Fix that. So you can just click, 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 click. And then you want to grab all of this or whatever or essence this. Yes, please. That takes forever. Okay. Secondly, the odds for candy or for hatching, please fix it. I, I am sorry, but two hour Timmy, like in my opinion, I'm sorry. There should be some kind of pity system. Two hour Timmy is getting this before I am. Okay. This is making me go crazy. I'm spending eight hours a day running every single raid that I can and going into the events as they are happening every single time and i am not getting anything i am not getting this i cannot get this skin i've spent millions upon millions of candy to get this and i have not gotten it there has to be some kind of petty system because if i go through the whole halloween event and not get this i am going to be so mad you know i've spent hours days trying to get this and I can't and so just watching two hour Timmy come in and be like oh yeah I got on my first try but yeah definitely a petty system would be amazing because I literally I am ugh, that makes me so mad uh let's see next pork pork rolling pork rolling yes this is this is my biggest biggest pet peeve okay uh, I don't know if you can see, but your boy doesn't have any metals, like none. All I do is I run raids every single day. I run raids for about eight hours a day for about five days a week. That's what I do on stream. I do impossible raid carries. Okay. And what I do towards the end of stream is I like to roll all my DPS team, all of it. Okay, well, you can't really see it right now, but there's one black hole, one celestial. Then you have one black hole. I don't know if I missed one. Uh oh, right here. There is the black hole. So I have four total cosmic forks, okay, on my team. The last time I rolled a cosmic cork was Wednesday. It is Monday right now. I probably spent 45 to 50,000 medals. I understand trademark has a, has a system and it's not promised, but I have both of my perks selected. If I have both my perks selected for celestial and black hole, I should have about a one, like a one in 20,000 odds or something like that. And if I only have one selected, it should be a one in 40,000. Well, most of the time I do have both selected because I need it on both most of the time. Sorry. Um. So 
I'm spending like 50,000 medals. And then before that, so I got black hole before this, before that 40,000 medals. Before that, it was 70,000 medals. I've gotten two cosmic, cosmic corks in the last two weeks. And I've been doing nothing but running, running raids every single day, eight hours a day on stream. You're more than welcome to go back and look at all my streams. They are all live. You can definitely check them out. That's completely fine. You can come and join. All my chat knows that I am one of the unluckiest person in this game. I've been spending basically give or take 80 hours in the last two weeks. I've gotten two cosmic quarks. There has to be some kind of petty system, petty system, something to fix it because I am literally looking at people like I have a friend right now who has a full cosmic team with black hole and celestial on both of your characters. I'm spending just as much time as them and I have four total. I am so just annoyed with that system that I am just that unlucky and it's just it is crazy like to me so i i that needs to be fixed that is my biggest issue that is what i'm going to plead and complain and cry about i never i never talk bad about a game ever like i tend to always think of positive suggestions but that that is the one thing that is driving me crazy uh the next thing that i think should be fixed is you should work on trading trading would definitely help this game so much because like I said, the only thing I do on stream is run raids eight hours a day. Running raids eight hours a day would be like is nice and all, but that's all I can do. I, I can't sit around and auto hatch because I do that while I'm offline. So I auto hatch and I raid. Those are the only things that I've been able to do. Just It's not that enjoyable running the same map for eight hours straight. Okay. And then uh last thing oh last thing please fix the bizarre map this is something that i am begging as a streamer please fix this map this is something that i wanted to run on stream but i physically cannot run this map on stream because whenever i have a lobby of 10 plus 10 to 15 people in there who are wanting to run the map with me on the final boss you have to unequip your heroes unequipping your heroes sucks trying to get 15 people to do that you can't like i physically can't run this map on stream there is times that i do want to run this map only because i need to i need medals i need stuff for it but i physically cannot run this map on stream like i have to do this offline only because all the people that are running it i can't tell 15 people to unequip their heroes or to retreat their heroes if if the damage issue happens right here on the boss if the damage starts going down to zero Telling 15 people to do that, it doesn't work. It, I literally have to leave and I physically can't do this map on stream. This is something that I I would love to have fixed. Every other map is completely fine. Uh, I could run it on stream, but this is the one map I physically cannot run on stream. And I have to do literally solo or I have just like a buddy that I'll have to call up. And it, it shouldn't have to be like that. I shouldn't not be able to run a map on stream. I shouldn't not be able to do that because I want to display all the maps. I want everyone to be able to, you know, work on everything. So those are definitely my biggest issues so far. Um, the auto scrap feature. I absolutely love. I definitely love that they've been doing things to fix that auto scrapping is good because all this stuff scrapping by hand was horrible. Okay. After doing all these raids, which I have the auto scrap feature on. Oh, yeah. And by the way, look, y'all could see how much. Uh, I've been rolling because I have all these. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea on how much uh, Halloween candy I've been uh, rolling for. And I've actually scrapped a lot of them as well.
but the auto scrap feature is great i love it keep it it's great uh auto locking skins great they're slowly working on this game great i love it fix it you're doing good you're in good trajectory but there is just small things that i think should be fixed right now because i really don't want to go the whole halloween event without getting the the hero or the champion i i want to be able to get it with all the hours and time i put into the game i feel like i should have a better chance to get it than a two-hour temi you know i shouldn't be punished and then lastly the last thing i did want to focus on is candy i do understand that candy got nerfed candy is you know it's good for the game i i like it it's a good event however i feel as if i'm getting punished like i can only run so many events before it kind of gets to a point to where it's like oh i'm not making enough to actually run this and so for me it's like well i'm kind of wasting my time running this event because i'm not making more i'd i'd get more if i ran raids so i don't think i should be getting punished for running the event more than someone else i, I understand that you want to decrease it over time you don't want people to get overpowered things but the odds of getting this is one in a kajillion anyway you know like the odds are just crazy so what you might get two because you can run the event and get a little extra candy. But I mean, I've only gotten one of these and I haven't gotten this. And I've only gotten one of these. I've gotten two of these. Like, trust me, the odds aren't that high. Like, don't stress about it. So it's like, I don't know. To me, it's just, I think that candy should be equal along the whole time. You should not nerf candy for running the event multiple times you should not be punished for running the event multiple times in my opinion if i'm on for eight hours i should be able to run the event four times and be fine because someone who's spending that much time in this game should not be punished in my opinion so those were kind of just my issues and like i said this video was mainly inspired by sister guard you can go check out her channel i will leave her video in the description you'll go check that out uh but sorry for kind of ranting on for a bit your boy has just kind of i've kind of just been over it with the metals and the quartz i have spent way too much to not get any uh so i felt that i should make a video on it and hopefully it could bring some light to some people uh and if y'all like it just let me know and i will try and make some other content about it but other than that guys i'll see you on the next one peace